You will remember I do like tough bumper cases for things like my Nexus. But you will also possibly recall I had a mishap with my Nexus that the uh, bumper case could not protect, although it had protected it from many, many drops, at least probably one a day, you know, like that on the corner. Bang! It could not protect my phone from getting its face crushed in. And to be fair to it, it's not really designed to. So now I have my new phone, which is my OnePlus 3T, which I really like. And uh, I urge you to watch the video I did on it if you're on the wall about getting one, because it's so slim and so light, gorgeous. I uh, decided I really needed to do something about this, because it's they're quite heavy, slippy bits of glass. And knowing me, I'm going to smash that one in too. It did come with a lovely factory screen protector, by the way. I don't know if you can still see that on there, but it's got a good thick old one on there. Hasn't actually bowled up yet. So I ordered this, and I'd like to think I ordered it from uh, eBay, actually, but it says it came from Amazon. So that's really confusing. I don't know now if you order something off eBay, if it's going to come from Amazon. If you do know, comment down below and let me know how this fulfillment thing is going on because it's blowing my mind. I definitely didn't buy it on Amazon. Um, so this is a OnePlus 3 case, which is the pro Poetic. Poetic? Ah, oh, how poetic. Made in China. Apparently the OnePlus 3 and the OnePlus 3T are exactly the same footprint. So it's supposed to fit both. So I hope it does. Oh, I can't open that. And I think we'll take the scissors to it. So let's say it's well packed. It's well packed and it's certainly got a little ziplocky thing, but I don't know why you'd ever want to put the thing back in there. First things first, here is the case itself. Let's look at the documents. 10% off, use the code San Francisco. So there you go. I'm guessing SF is the manufacturer of this thing. SF. Look at it there, guys. Take it all in. Use the code, 10% off. My gift to you. Let's have a look at how do we actually install this. Step one, use the TPU edge to bend the TPU. Blah, blah, blah. Slowly slide, oh, TPU's by the way, the plastic it's made of, in case you didn't know. Slowly slide your finger round the thing, round the thing, jack it in. Okay, I think that's pretty much as much detail as we need. Thank you for your purchase. Three years warranty. Wow, that's a, a warranty that's often longer than my phone's last, that's for sure. Now, oh, with love from San Francisco. That's what the SF is. And I have to say, it looks like a wonderful case. Look at it. It's It's got a built-in screen protector. Do you see that shiny, shiny? Nice. What else has it got? It's got your power there, your volumes, two individual volumes, which is nice there, and actually access to your mute switch on the bottom. There's your speaker grill. There's your USB. Got a nice little protector on that, USB Type-C protector, and a headphone protector. So yeah, you're pretty much sorted. Nice big cutaway for your camera, because of course the camera on a OnePlus 3 is square. So I'm going to try to open it up the way it sort of said, which was kind of work it on the corner and work your way around. Yeah. This is almost like a permanent case, it feels, because it doesn't really feel like it's just going to slip on and off, which is kind of good to be honest with you. I kind of want my cases on permanently. I'm trying, I just poked through the camera hole and touched the screen thing on the inside. I'm going to avoid doing that. It's got a little lip basically with this sort of TP material. I'm guessing, like they said there, you've got to work it round because it's, it's kind of locking in. Once it's fitted to this thing, it's going to be uh, a nice seal. I can tell you that much. Okay. There we go. It's finally cooperating. Nice. So just to give you a feel, this is like a plastic material, but there's a hard, um, rigid exoskeleton in there. So it's soft in places and hard in places. So the back is definitely hard. Corners, relatively soft, but I guess that's probably good as a sort of shock absorber. And this big old thick thing here is crazy. That's crazy thick. In fact, it feels to me like about three mil thick of plastic on the back there. That's definitely going to protect it. In fact, you can just about see in there, that's how thick this thing is. Mm. I might just have, have trouble now slipping this in my skinny jeans. But it will offer me a lot more grip, so six of one, half a dozen of the other. Just going to see if that... I don't see the fingerprint in there, so that's good to go. And I'm going to try to leave the factory screen protector on, so I'm going to give it one quick wipe 
pop it into the case and then give it one last wipe before I put the lid back on. <sighs> Bit of gunk on there. It's a problem with using your phones in restaurants, isn't it? They get food all over them. So that's looking quite shiny. Pop that in. Oh, it feels crazy loose. Um, yeah, so maybe it goes. Let's see if that tells you. Not really. <laughs> doesn't tell you anything. I kind of feel that you want to put it into the front first and then clip the whole lot into the back. So I'm going to make sure the screen is clean. Make sure it's screwed. So I don't know how it's going to feel now with so many layers of screen protector, if that's going to change its responsiveness at all. Let's go for it, shall we? That pops straight on. There is some dust, but ah, it looks like the dust, fortunately, is on the outside mainly, although there is a bit on the inside. Should give it a wipe properly. Hmm. Let's just roll with it. Can't really see it once it's on. Get that in the right way round. Yeah. Yes, we are in. That's feeling pretty damn good. I'm going to tell you, that's feeling like it's really locking in. You know, I'm rolling these edges over and I can feel the plastic just sort of getting energised. Look at that. That's pretty much there now. Yes, that feels good. That feels real good. Fingerprint reader still working. Buttons. Pictures of food. That's not bad at all, actually. Yeah, yeah, I can do that. That's good. Feels like I can take a take a bonk now. That is pretty damn good. So what I'm going to say is the poetic, the poetic phone protector case is really good for the one plus three. There we go. Protection's good. Flaps are easy to open. I'm I'm pleased with that. Very pleased indeed. I can't remember what I paid for this, but I think it was around the ten pounds mark, maybe twelve pounds. I'm happy, happy as Larry. So if you've got a phone that needs protecting, I would definitely consider a poetic case and this poetic case for sure on your, whatever this thing was, one plus three T. If you, um, I'll let you know if I drop it in the meantime, but I think it's gonna be fine to be honest with you. I think it's absolutely fine. Please comment, like, and subscribe. And as ever, thank you for watching.